Uh, let's talk to Steph now. Steph, uh, you're going to talk to us about mobile phones and who sells what. Yes, because there's been a, a change at the top in terms of who's become the biggest mobile um, phone seller. It was Nokia, but now Samsung have taken the title. Um, good morning, everyone. Yes, Samsung has come from nowhere in recent years to become one of the world's wealthiest technology companies, uh, so much so that it's become the world's number one maker of mobile phones, taking over Nokia, who had held the title for 14 years. Now, in the first three months of the year, the Korean company sold over 93 million mobile hands sets and that's compared to Nokia's 83 million and that's not the only big number they've told us told us about this morning profits in the first quarter were up 98 percent year on year to just over three billion pounds sales are up 22 percent year on year and the firm says that 70 percent of its income now comes from the sale of mobile phones so it's a company definitely doing well at the moment well with me now is technology expert tom cheese right good morning tom good morning are, are you surprised by these figures no not at all samsung's been on the way up for a long time nokia's frankly been on the way down what's really interesting is how samsung achieves this it kind of takes a heinz 57 varieties approach a different model for every market and lots of different versions for every little niche so lots of variety there'll be a lot of people who are surprised that nokia was even still up there because many people now have smartphones and and only remember back in the day that everyone had a nokia so how, how did they hold on to it well it's incredible actually it's only a year ago that nokia was still the market leader either in smartphones not necessarily the markets that you and i are most familiar with but also Nokia sold an enormous number of, or of feature phones, dumb phones, in the smaller or other markets, certainly cheaper markets where smartphones aren't so dominant. Mm -hmm. And it's been an incredible fall from grace for Nokia with not really having a product to compete with the high end where smartphones are concerned, the Android and the Apple iPhone. Yeah, where is Apple in the mix of all this? Apple holds roughly 9.5% of the market. Uh, it sold 35 million phones in the first quarter of this year, which is inc incredible considering it only really has one model. Yes, and, and can Nokia make a comeback then? Because they they have tried to win us over with the smartphones, but it hasn't gone particularly well, has it? Well, they realised a year ago they were on a burning platform, as their chief exec described it. They've leapt into bed with Microsoft, or really leapt into a leapt into a life raft with Microsoft. Some might argue it wasn't the life, li right life raft to jump mm. into. Um, there's been uh, reports of high return rates for the new Microsoft smartphones from Nokia. They've sold about two million. A good start, maybe not quite the start they were expecting. It seems overall that technology firms can't do any wrong at the moment. We keep talking about how times are hard and we're, and we're not spending as much, but it seems we still spend on things like a good phone. It's true, it's true. Unfortunately, you've got to have really, really appealing products. You know, Apple's achieved that. It's created this incredible brand that people are you know, attracted to. Samsung has achieved that by having something for everybody. Unfortunately, Nokia isn't achieving that at the moment. Its share price has fallen two-thirds in the last mm. uh, 12, 18 months and it really needs to do something quickly if it's going to get back on top at all. The competition is on. Okay, thank you for your time this morning. Tom, back to you both. Thanks, Steph. See you later. Thank you. Uh, we're